This is like. I think this, Same is, this is pretty. This is pretty good. I. I'm just gonna see. I don't. Is that the 14? This is no. Oh, 14 will not do well with this. Um, this is the. 10 to 24. Oh, I want. Okay. I want. I wanted to use my 23, but there's too many of us. So whoever's on the edge will be the most distorted. So let's put one on the edge. <laughs> Click, click, click. Hello everyone, this is Taka from BigHeadTalker.com. Krizza, thank you again for take two of the <laughs> beginning of this video. We, we just heard like maybe a possible accident in the front. There was an accident out front. Was it really? Yeah, yeah. All right, but we made sure everyone's fine and now we're starting a video. Welcome everyone, this is a, the partial look of beers and cameras. Now Raquel, uh, the CEO, CEO, uh -huh. CEO of Beers and Cameras is busy doing CEO stuff in the front. Yeah, so being a mommy. Being number, a mommy. Yeah. I'm here with the boys. I have Chris. I have Chris over here and Patrol <laughs> over here. Now I've done interviews with them separately the last time I came here, but uh, I didn't know how to integrate it in the video. So I'll feature them a little bit later, so you'll know who they are. But I'll put down their their handles. Handles, handles, Instagram handles down here and in the description, and you all know who Juan is. Hello, Juan. Hi. Um, I was trying to figure out a creative way to do a video with these guys because they're so much fun. The best way to know a photo nerd is to know what we think of photo nerd equipment. Mm -hmm. So with the help of Carissa, and we'll have to all put our cameras, actually, you guys all have straps, I don't. So I'm gonna put my camera down. Really? Because yeah, they might be part of what we get. Oh, that's right? Just, what Chris is, thank you, Chris. Yeah, so what she's gonna do for us is she's gonna hand us, we have a, a plethora of cameras on a table, and we have no idea what she's gonna pass to us, <laughs> and we all have like 10 <laughs> seconds, maybe 10 seconds? Mystery. First to talk about first impressions of what we think of the camera. Should so right. we do a pro and con, or just the, first impressions? 10, 10 seconds. Okay, cool. Whatever. Yeah. So we're gonna start with we're camera. Not gonna look. We're not gonna look. Camera number one. Thank you, Chris. Oh, you're giving to me first? No, oh, let's start. Pass let's start. Oh, so yes, yes. Okay. Uh, Pentax Whoa, 6.7. Wow. Oh yeah, well, whoever gets, you have to say what it is. Um, it's a uh, Pentax 6.7. Uh, two? <laughs> it's the latest uh, Pentax 6.7. Um, first impression, it's pretty hefty. Uh, out of time, but, buddy. Uh, out of time. 10 seconds. <laughs> All right, <laughs> next. Hey. Next one. Uh, I knew what it was. Uh, big, clunky, uh, amazing IQ. I call this the ugliest, prettiest camera ever, Word. and the grip is on the wrong side. It should be on, actually not really. Anyways, that's it. <laughs> I want one. That's <laughs> it? Is there film? <laughs> is there film in it? No, there's no film. There's no film? Because of this. Oh. oh. So All right, done. Thank you, Chris. <clears throat> camera number, number two. two. Oh. oh. It's, it's got the Beers and Cameras logo. And oh, what camera yeah. is that? It's a Nikon 35 Ti. It's a nice little pocket camera, point and shoot. I think there was a on this camera. Uh, so, autofocus is not super fast. Uh, it's pretty. I love watches. Seiko designed the dial. It's one of the prettiest of the titanium point shoots made in the 90s. This is a prima. I love this camera. Should we say who the camera belongs to or no? Chris's. Oh, it's Chris. Yeah, okay. we can. Yeah, it's, cool. it's Chris's. If you find yours very comfortable, I like it. I want one. All right. Very good. Thank <laughs> he's, you. Oh, he's the minimalist. I want one. All right. All right. Uh, next up is. Nikon F3, titanium, the black titanium. Um, Pacholos. I just got one recently. Yeah. Thanks to these guys. Well, I don't know. You guys may have. Uh, Time up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, F3, uh, it's designed by the guy who designed Ferraris. Uh, pretty uh, classic, yeah. 35 millimeter. 
I say it's the prettiest yeah. 35 mil manual focus camera. I actually like the Canon F1 better. This is the prettiest, but it's also it was around for 20 years. So this has the long. Is that right about the Ferrari thing? Your yeah, uh, it's in Italian. I forgot his name, but yes. Uh, I think I got that wrong. Yeah. I got it solely for the looks. And he wants one. It's mine, so I, you have I one. want one. You have, I have one. one. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Ooh. 10 seconds. All right. Roller Flex. Uh, <laughs> Kids intro. 2.8 F. This one belongs to Picholo. And um, I, I got the shot with it, shoot with it, and now I have one myself. I uh, thought this was yours. It's not yours. Uh, kind of tricky to shoot because it's reversed. Yes. What you see. Oh, yeah, it is. It's reversed. Uh, it's beautiful. You get a lot of comments with this thing. People know this because of Vivian Meyer, Vivian Mayer. It's beautiful because yep. you can shoot down low. You don't realize you're shooting them. So it's a nice stealth camera. Stealth. I'm not too fond of the uh, 6x6, but Vivian Meyer had one. So I wanted one. Now I have one. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to have all <laughs> Oh, the Canon app. Oh, oh Canon F. Uh, I think this belongs to the one. It's mine. Um, nice little uh, rangefinder, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, only thing I don't like about this camera is the 1500 max uh, shutter speed. Great little rangefinder. Small, great everyday camera. If you want to get a rangefinders, don't buy like a buy one of these first. And if you like it, then move up. Fantastic. This whole series of the 70s all-in-one rangefinders were beautiful, and this is probably one of the best ones. Yeah. Feels nice. I should have listened to Take before uh, getting bitten by the Leica bug. I want one. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh. Um. You gotta, you gotta hear this, this, this the sound. Is there film? Sound? No, there's no film. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, oh, I don't know. Oh. Oh. Right. Uh, ooh, it's, it's a nice. hassle. PG, guys. PG. I'm sad. PG. I'm sad. Uh, I would love to have one of these. I've been looking at them on eBay. My wife doesn't know about this, but um, beautiful. I, the images from it look stunning. Hasselblad creating this back system. Even today, now there's a digital back. I can't believe after 70 years, you can still shoot with this. It's basically the lens, back. body, and then back. And so, fantastic. This awesome. went to the moon. I mean, what can you say? Yeah, very hefty uh, camera. Very nice. like the sound of the shutter. I don't like 6x6, so can't say I want one. Juan's <laughs> RD1. RD1 is the first digital rangefinder, yeah. is that correct? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> nice it's, learning. It's my camera. It's become like my everyday camera. I love shooting it. It's just like shooting film, but you don't go through rolls of film. You just... Oh, uh, uh, how many megapixels? Six stunning six. megapixels. CCD sensor. This is probably the closest hybrid to film and digital because it has a mechanical shutter that you actually have to cock. And so Leica, learn how to make a camera like this. And it's like 13 years old or more. Yeah. Oh, what? You didn't cock it all the way. I didn't? No. Oh, is it turned Sorry, on? 10 seconds. Maybe it's not on. One more. Enough said. Enough said. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh. So, um, we got a motion film camera here. Um, this is this one belongs to me. It's a Canon 814 Super 8. Um, I just started using it. I, I love it. I love the film it produces. It's an awesome camera. Pretty hefty though. Super hefty. Um, enjoy film sticker. Really cool. Don't know Thanks, too much Mish. about it. Uh, I love the output and the videos you've created with it. If they made an end mount version, that'd just be pretty yeah. sweet. <laughs> Um, this was the iPhone of the generation just before me. If you wanted to shoot video, this is pretty much how you did it. So, and the movie Super 8. Enough said. Yeah. Enough said. Yeah, this is a little heavier than than it looks, but it's it's really nice. My girlfriend wants one, so <laughs> I want one. And who is your girlfriend? It's Krizza, the one that's oh, handy. Oh yes, of course, cameras, of course. Yes. Thank you, Krizza. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, look at this Pen F half frame. Uh, never got to shoot with it. It looks really neat. Um, how many frames uh, total? Double whatever you get from okay. regular, yeah. Uh, people think it's a rangefinder, but it's not. It's SL SLR, super tiny, 36 roll, gets you like 72 images, super sharp lens. Fantastic. I mean, Fred Herzog currently uses the digital Pen F, but a great legacy camera. It's not just Leica that still has a legacy from the older. It is a remake of the older one, but the philosophy is still the same. That's got a meter on it. And this has a built-in meter. Beautiful. I want you to sell it to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very beautiful camera. I'm, I just like the design. Um, the portrait orientation is a little off-putting, but it's a nice camera. Thank you. Oh, he doesn't want one. Apparently. Yeah. It's a nice camera. Oh, oh we already have. We already did that. We'll just pass it over. We'll just pass it over.
Yeah. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Same camera. Woman. <laughs> oh, oh, um, this is a uh, M6. The yep. one. He just acquired it recently. Uh, it, this was attached on a medical equipment, I believe. Yeah, uh, it's um, a. <laughs> it's a black M6 and from 1987. Super smooth operation. This one's brass, um, not with brass underneath, but it has nice, nice wear. Love it. I love this fantastic strap. Who makes this? Barton, 1972. 1972. Excellent. <laughs> Classic. He wants. Thank you. <laughs> You've had plenty. Uh, all right, Clobel, um, Makina, or Ma Makina, 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 Makina. Yeah, Makina. Makina. Um, don't know much about the history, but uh, it's a German um, brand that slash was Japanese. This has got a Nick uh, Orleans. Orleans. Six by seven. Um, it has a funky way of focusing. You focus using this knob. Uh, cool, medium format, right? Six by seven. Yeah, the fact that you can actually have a medium format of this size, six by seven, guys. I mean, check that it's out. It's pocketable. It's pocketable, six by seven. Love yeah. it. Co right? co codable. Range finder, and it's has a pretty fast lens, two point eight, and it's a <coughs> range finder, six by seven. So, want one? Boop. Compact. Ooh. Compact. Yes, compact. <clears throat> Next? No. no just oh, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, maybe Sony A7, maybe. the first version, uh, really great in low light. Uh, yeah, Sony A7S with the rocking on 50mm 1.4, super sharp, wide open. Love this camera. This is like do everything camera for me. Yeah, A7S is, it's, I'm actually happy that they created this with super high ISO performance, right. but they dropped the megapixels and they, it was surprising that a company like Sony wasn't pushing 100 megapixels going the other way for low light performance. And a lot of video guys love this camera, so fantastic. It's a great camera. This is the beers and cameras camera, camera. so <laughs> it is. It's a great camera for that. Uh, the Graflex large <laughs> format. <laughs> what? <laughs> How do you? Uh, four by five. Four by five. Can you handle it? <laughs> it's a. Uh, here we go. It's got a side range finder. Um, Cool. What That's else like to say? <laughs> uh, first time I've seen this camera, believe it or not. Uh, big, uh, looks cool. I'd be interested to see the output. No idea. The negative is four by five, guys. I mean, enough said. There is no. This is a rangefinder viewfinder. You have to look through the ground glass to actually focus. Right. Then you can pop in the film. You gotta. Right. It's it's tricky but fun to use, and you have to have blanket over your head. So who doesn't want a blanket over the head when they're taking pictures? <laughs> yeah, this is a heavy, hefty beast, and I've seen the negatives out of this. Well. Going on. I don't know. Oh, oh. some oh. and ten seconds. Yeah, ten seconds. Here you go. All right. <laughs> oh, like a another Leica M6 silver version uh, with the Carl Zeiss. Uh, what is it? Sonar. Sonar. Uh, That's my first M6. Um, love this guy. It'll be my daughter's one day. Very good. Don't like the angled winder. Don't like the two-part uh, crank. Oh, and enough said. Classic but great camera. I, yeah, I agree you with uh, Tokay. Yeah, you this, switch it up yeah. too. Um, this lens, though, the 51.5, I think this is the most characterful modern lens that I've used. So. Sonar. 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 Thank you. All right. Fujifilm X-Pro2. Um, I have one. I really love it. Uh, IQ is great. I think um, 24 megapixel is like the sweet spot for me as far as digital. It's a great little camera. Um, so my X-Pro2. Uh, I love this like great everyday do anything camera as well, kind of like the A7S, but you get more resolution out of it. Great high ISO performance and love Fujifilm. Yeah, you know what? To X Pro 2 versus XT2. I think a modern Leica 2, sorry. Most people, yeah, their heart is to this camera and it's yeah. as close as I think you can get to an intimate relationship with a camera that really feels like your own that isn't a Leica in the general yeah. realm. If I were to have a Fuji interchangeable lens camera, it would be this. You had one. You had one. Wait, you yeah. had two. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, two. Um, Nikon. Oh, we oh, already have one of those already. The F3. This is this is Raquel's. This is Raquel's. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's Raquel. All right. Pass it along. Uh, Raquel's Nikon F3. Great camera, as we talked about before. It has a cool lens tab on it, so it focuses like a Voigtlander lens, 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 like a lens. This needs to be a guitar strap. <laughs> I think it was. <laughs> it's a great gift for your girlfriend. Or fiance or wife. Fiance, whatever. <laughs> My girlfriend. Whatever. Oh wow. <laughs> Oh, Krista, you didn't hear that. <laughs> all right. Um, this is all about the lens, I guess. It's got the Noctilux 0.95 uh, spherical lens on it. 
Um, the body is the Leica MA silver. Uh, this is a. I don't know. I don't have enough words to describe it. Just it's all about the lens with this setup to me, and it's an MA which I never shot before, but I heard it's delightful. Favorite Leica film body, the fact they're still making mechanical, all mechanical, no meter, doesn't need a battery for anything. My favorite film body and favorite camera right now, currently built. Oh, wow. They like an MA. I can only recommend this if you want a brand new film Leica. But other than that, go for the classic M2, M3, M4. Or M6. Non metered. Or M6. M6. <laughs> non metered. <laughs> Alright, what is it? So Third store find? Olympus. Okay, um, little first thoughts. Point and shoot, uh, very profitable. Um, yeah, thrift store find. Uh, just take it to the beach, throw it around. It's actually weatherproof. Yeah, I love the clamshell design. You can just pop it in your pocket. You don't have to worry about damaging it. And this is the kind of camera, if you broke it, you're not heartbroken, you're mm -hmm. on But these were disposable, but that's got the zoom lenses. on it. So yeah, so this is fantastic. I love this. Yeah, it's nice. I used it for one of our walk or walkabouts, and the image quality is pretty good out of it. Yeah. Lens. Oh, X70. Great little pocket camera. Um, point and shoot from Fuji. It's got the, uh, the first touchscreen Fuji camera, digital camera. Is it? I don't yes. know. Okay. Uh, yeah, great everyday camera. Great for selfies. Beautiful ah. strap from um, Sailor Strap, and not quite as good as the GR. Rico GR. This, if you want a pocketable point and shoot with an APS-C sensor, other than the GR, this is the only other real option currently available that I would use. But if you're not a full-time photographer, I recommend this over the GR. Yes, of course. I don't really know what to say about this. I've never had one or used one before, but if it's if it's a Fuji, it's <laughs> it should be pretty. I'm good. surprised you never owned one. First <laughs> camera you've never. <laughs> oh, oh really? really? Did we go through everything? All right, we're actually kind of done. But thank you, Carissa. Um, we pretty much went through all the cameras on the table. There are some duplicates. There's a couple of MAs, there's a couple of M6s, a couple of Rolleiflexes, A7 II. Let's now go and grab the one camera that we want, or, or the, 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 what do you guys think? The best camera we think? Well, symbolize favorite. you, or us, yeah, or, or our favorite mm, camera? Yeah, our favorite, favorite camera. That's okay, so let's... Tell. Favorite let's, camera, or symbolize so us? So we're gonna go, and let's favorite see... Camera? How just fast one? we could? Yes, one? we can only grab one. So we. Well, I'm gonna keep oh, this. If there was a fire, we had to run out of the house. Do I have to yeah, my own camera? Okay. Yeah. No, it doesn't have to be your own. If there's oh. a fire, <laughs> there's a fire. Yes, sure. Okay. If there's a fire, what camera would we grab? As and we, we run out the door. And we're gonna explain why. So ready? I don't know which one. Okay, let's. Okay, we, we gotta ah. go now. Let's go. Uh, uh, wait. You're burning. You're dead. Okay. All right, we're back. Yeah, yeah. Patrolo, start this way? Yes, let's go this way this time. Patrolo. Okay. Uh, my black MA. It's the stealthiest one I have uh, with a 35 <laughs> 1.4 Sumalux. Um, everything's clean. There's no electronics. And just, it just fits the way I see. So hmm. That would have been my favorite, but hmm. he took it. But that, as I mentioned, that is my favorite camera. I should have grabbed the silver MA. But I had it. it. And then put a 35 oh, on it. Oh, you did. <laughs> but I grabbed the 35 Ti because it was a... It was at a point where professionals, I knew a, a Korean photographer that his brother was a rock star and he shot his album cover with this camera. And mm -hmm. This is before Terry Richardson and before Daido Moriyama oh. was shooting with point shoots. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, how can you have shot that with something like this? And it changed the way I saw point shoots. And so to me, it's more of a, a, a memory thing as well as a, like a nostalgia. But it's why I love, I love the style. Which, and these dials have to remind you of the Epson also made it. By, oh, by, by Seiko. By Seiko. It's also yeah. Seiko design. So in terms of the prettiest, one of the prettiest cameras ever made, definitely the prettiest point and shoot made of that titanium era. And I think it's just the right size. And this is a crazy, crazy sharp lens. Am I right? Who's I, who's it's camera used it. Yeah, it's it's a crazy yeah, sharp it's lens. And the yeah. metering is, is it's dead it's, on. It has the, uh, the matrix. The matrix. Yes. Metering, yeah. So, oh, wow. really good. so I, pretty modern. And it's for heavy. me, because I'm small and compact, Small and compact, but powerful. <laughs> and it's the T, right? T-I. Yeah. T, Take. That's why I picked this one. Uh, I picked uh, Pachillo's Leica <laughs> MA with uh, Noctilux. Um, I mean, for honestly, I thought, oh, I could just sell this setup and get every <laughs> camera that's on the table. Yeah, so, but no, this is a great lens that we recently got film developed from it. Or you did, or you developed it at home. And it is like, 
it is so it's like 3D pop crazy like uh anyways uh to like uh, rangefinder and MA your favorite camera I've actually never shot this but and I'm a meter guy so I probably would sell it to get I probably would just sell this <laughs> setup six. and get a bunch of other cameras. Um, I was gonna grab that camera, but you beat me to it. Um, <laughs> I ended up grabbing the Roly uh, GX. <laughs> um, reason why I grabbed this, I really love uh, medium format, and uh, I, I just love I love shooting. It's so much fun to shoot. Um, I like it a little better than the Hasselblad as far as having a six by six. Um, yeah, it's just fun. It's just like it's it's. I can use it for portraits. I can use it for street, for just about everything. Except maybe maybe not so much landscape, but yeah, it's a beautiful camera. It yeah. is. It is. Oh, so yeah. come down to beers and cameras, the meet that these guys are always part of, and what we just did is pretty much like the ca the variety that we saw is pretty much every meet what is you'll like see. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So hope you guys had fun watching this video. More videos with these guys in the future. Thanks for doing this. Thank you, Taka. All right, so we let's close the click click. Yes. yes. All right, thanks and for Do you have film it? Because I won't. It doesn't I won't matter. Film. I won't actually. Just do it. Okay. Ready? So thanks for watching and happy shooting. Click. 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 Oh, click. man. Click. That was horrible. Click. <laughs> click. One more. One more. There you go. Click. Click. <laughs> All right. Woo. Oh, that was. Okay. Right. That's ready. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. Right. We ready. So are we all ready to yep. click? Yes. yes. Click? Far enough, yeah. should, should I say click click or should we just click? And Chris, can you just click, make click. sure in the video does it are we all kind of in? Pretty yeah. good? You're all pretty yeah. You look good? Yes. All right, yeah, thank you. Shoulder to shoulder. And I'm gonna right. click. I'm actually gonna You wanna actually take a picture? Yeah, I'm gonna take a picture. Okay, so alright, so ready? On the count of two. One, two, click, click. Hello everyone, this is Talking Pig at Talk.com. Carissa, thank you for pressing the start button. Thank thank you. You did start it, right? Hold on. You did it start it? Wait, it's really red though. Oh, good. That's good. Now, what's wrong, Juan? It sounded it's like an accident. accident. Yeah. It's just not one of your cars. It sounded like a car crashing. Oh, really? All right, we've got to stop the video. Okay.